Hi traders, it's Jay from Ninja Order Flow Trader and I just wanted to uh, share a video I took last week so I haven't uploaded a lot of videos recently with the holiday season and everything uh, happening towards the end of the year here it's been quite busy you can see here this was actually last week I took a uh, trade on the on the crude oil futures contract uh, it was a short trade at um, 58.39 and um, you can see it was before the US open around uh, around 7.30 so what I had seen is if you look on this chart you can see there was two big up green bars um, with aggressive buying and then those aggressive buyers they basically disappeared and then I saw a bit of aggressive selling started to come into the market and so I took the short trade and um, within very short order the market broke down as you can see here and um, we came to the value area the uh, volume point of control actually which is the purple line um, that you see coming out from the NOFT uh, volume composite indicator that's our volume profile indicator um, you can see I moved my stop um, behind what we call auction lines or unfinished business lines and the market continued to break down I've cut various parts of the video just to uh, cut down on the size of the video but um, you can see in very short order um, the market had broke down significantly and you can see within the uh, within the candlesticks themselves you don't see any green numbers in there um, the red numbers and green numbers that we have are imbalances okay those are mel those are measuring relative aggressiveness um, within the the bid ask tape the actual number of contracts bought and sold so anyway, it was a very quick move down. We did a pretty hefty retracement. I moved my stop down, as you can see. Again, hiding behind a, uh, this is on my second contract. Now you already saw the first contract uh, get filled. Now my second contract, you know, I was anticipating the market was gonna continue to break down. Um, you can see it's after, after eight o'clock here now. Um, and so the market continued to move down a little bit and um, uh, I was thinking we were going to continue. One of the mistakes I made, and what's cool about the NOFT is you don't have to be perfect um, with all the information that it gives you, the important information, the way it highlights it. Um, it, it allows whatever methodology you're using um, in conjunction with it uh, to be very forgiving. So I got 69 ticks on the first contract. You can see I've, I've moved the stop down on the second behind one of our auction unfinished business business lines. I'm waiting for the market to continue to break down and it just kind of sat around this area. And so it was just playing around here in a little while and, and so to continue, you know, um, talking about the, the mistake I made was that um, I forgot about the news at 8.30 and um, you'll see uh, in a few minutes I got stopped out on the um, on the second contract with plus 32 ticks so you know on, on the two contracts I, I ended up netting 101 ticks so I mean I can't complain about that um, it should have been more should I not have, not have made the mistake of forgetting about the news so <laughs> always have a, a new service up or um, you know remind yourself to to uh, check the news every every couple of hours just to see if there's anything up and coming um, you know this this trade was prior to the US session and and prior to the crude open you know by a few hours but still it, it um, you know it did go into that 830 um, uh, significant news release time that a lot of news comes out of the United States and, and, and sometimes Canada as well. So the market was just it was the market was just kind of playing around here. I was thinking that you know it was gonna break down. It came back up and as you can see it touched one of our what we call a, a stacked imbalance zone. It tagged it and then it looked like um, it was gonna continue down. Um, from this point where it is right now.
I uh, just wanted to mention that um, you know we're going into the end of 2014 here. Um, we are going to have some significant upgrades to the NOFT um, starting in 2015, and the price of the NOFT is actually going to be going up. Um, there will be a price increase. So you are when you purchase the lifetime license, you're actually entitled to all the upgrades. So if you buy a lifetime license of the NOFT um, before the before 2015 starts, you're going to lock in um, the 2014 pricing and still be entitled to those upgrades. So now's a now's a great time to actually um, pick up the NOFT when you'll have more value um, at a cheaper price. At this point in the trade, I was just looking at the pro at the uh, volume composite and just seeing, you know, what what was going on with that, and I'm trying to make an evaluation: should I continue to stay in the trade or should I dump it? And, but anyway, I'd, I'd still locked in significant profit on the uh, on the second contract, so I decided to keep it. Um, if I had been aware of the news, obviously I could have done something about that, but. I had to settle for 101 ticks. Also, for those of you who are watching the video on the YouTube channel, um, please like or subscribe, or do both. <laughs> um, and also, you know, post comments um, or contact me um, because that's the that's the way to make uh, to make these videos better and more useful. Um, and to help those those users that have already purchased the NOFT as well. Um, if you've never heard of the NOFT before, the Ninja Order Flow Trader Toolkit, um, or you've never um, attended one of our webinars, um, feel free to contact me, J, that's J A Y, at ninjaorderflowtrader.com, or Skype me, J A Y dot N O F T, that's J dot NOFT, and um, I can actually set up a one on one um, presentation for you. Um, to review the NOFT and how it can help you in your trading. One of the things that uh, I believe happened here was I failed to scroll. <laughs> I, I, I was looking back on the on the volume composite, and um, I failed to scroll um, to the right. So lots of lots of mistakes made uh, on this trade. Nevertheless, still profitable um, and still following the rules. We also have a lease option available for the NOFT, and the down payment on the lease can actually be applied um, to the lifetime license. So if you if you lease the NOFT and then later you decide you want to go with the lifetime license, you can do that, and the down payment uh, will be applied um, to the cost of your li lifetime license. Okay, so here the market failed to break down further. My stop is still in the same place, hiding behind that auction line. And um, you know, I was trying to figure out, you know, why isn't the market <laughs> going lower? And as you can see, pop goes the weasel. <laughs> the, the market popped on the uh, 8:30 news, and um, that was it. So thanks for watching. Hope it helps, and um, look forward to becoming members.